Hey guys, welcome to another episode from Stacy. Here We Grow Again. Today we're going to talk about a lot of things that are exciting. <laughs> I have so much going on and I want to show you my beautiful lettuce, and my herbs that I planted. This is gourmet blend, a masculine mix, sweet mix, parsley we got, rocking out, oregano rocking out, more parsley. We're sowing some more seeds. We got basil that's sprouting. We sowed these seeds just a few days ago. So... They're really cute, these little basil plants. I love them. I sowed some lavender in here two days ago, which is already starting to sprout right there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. But um, we're going to, this is what I'm growing here, and we're just going to go over some things. Parsley is basically a two-year herb. After two years, it has a two-year lifespan. It dies. It flowers and dies. It pushes out seeds before it, it dies, and then you can get a bunch of seeds off of it. But parsley lasts for two years, and in my area, in Florida, it's September through February we can sow these. They're considered a biennial, and that um, days to germinate is 18 to 24. Now, that's not right for me, because I can get this parsley seeds to sprout within a few days. I have parsley seed, seed plants already. And that is, you know, you germinate these parsleys, you soak the seeds in some water, just some fountain, you know, just some regular water in a bowl or something for about 24 hours before you want to plant them. Then you go ahead, sow them directly on top of the soil. Now when you're sowing small seeds like parsley and stuff, guys, let me see if I can show you how small. And check how tiny them seeds are. They're really tiny, so any seeds that are like this, like lavender, I'll show you those. They're kind of like the lettuce. They look like lettuce. These are really cool. They're really tiny. So you want to spread them. Now we'll, we're going to sow some thyme because I haven't had much luck with my thyme. It's not really the season. It's not the time for thyme. But I'm just going to sprinkle these guys. Just want to sprinkle quite a bit on top of your soil. You want to pre-moisten your soil a little bit with some water beforehand. This way you can start the germination process right away. Sprinkle, you know, thyme and oregano and stuff like that. You can sow a bunch of seeds in there. This is... A bunch of seeds this is a bunch of plants because if you just have like one oregano or one parsley plant you can definitely grow parsley just keep parsley like two or three plants in one big container like this I usually don't plant a lot of parsley together because look how lanky they get see how lanky these stems are compared to this is the base of the plant all the way up here so I'm gonna have to fill this whole inch in with soil you can tell that these are nice and sturdy they're standing straight up and there's nothing exposed that baseline's right touching the soil. You can see that. And um, that's what you want, guys. So what you want to do is keep your stuff really moist during the germination process. I'm sorry it's so dark here. Let me see if I can put my light on. It's so dark here because it's been raining on and off. So we got our oregano seeds in here, guys. And what you want to do is just spread them around after you sprinkle them, just so you get an even distribution of the seeds. You know, sometimes when you're sprinkling them, they can just fall all over the place wherever they want. So we kind of want to spread that out. And then you can see how that soil is already moist. What you're going to want to do is take some, just a little bit of soil, and we're going to sprinkle it on top. Because if you put too much soil on top of small seeds like this, and you don't use like a fluffy soil like my Coco Loco here, this is what I'm planting in, you want good drainage in all your pots. And if you don't plant in like a fluffy soil and you put too much soil on top of these small, small seeds, what's going to happen is they won't pop out of the soil. Now green beans and squash and stuff like that and watermelon, pumpkin, they have big seeds. So you can definitely shove them down about a quarter of an inch to an inch down. That's fine. So after you get your seeds and your soil on there, you can just give it a moist. Now don't pull out your water. You just want to give it enough so it's moist and let it soak through. And then you can give it some more. And we're good to go. You're going to keep this moist through the whole germination process. Either Now, if you're in cold weather right now, you probably can't grow your herbs and stuff outside like I can. So I want to show you that you can grow your herbs, lavender, oregano, um, these lettuce containers, anything in containers, your radish. Check this lettuce out. I don't want to touch it too much because my hands are dirty. But this is that masculine mix. It has black seeded Simpson, which is this one, this cool looking carrot one right here. And then um, some mustard seed and some red mix in there, red leaf, 
and then the gourmet blend which i love this is my gourmet blend this lettuce is so sweet guys i love this i don't care for the mustard seeds too much like this mustard salad mix i i don't care for these and they tend to get pests a lot so i'm picking these out i don't really like them too much i don't mind a few of them but they're kind of remind me of like arugula they have like a bite to them so if you don't like that don't grow this kind that is like a mustard seed and they're they have just a really strong bite to them so you just want to sow your seeds guys get them sowed and then we're gonna keep them in about for your herbs and your lettuce four to six hours even seven hours of sun a day is great right off the bat from seed because once you do that guess what you don't have to acclimate your plants we got sage back there guys i sowed some sage let me check that out we got sage right there and she's in season right now for me so she's rocking out check her foliage out she's doing so good we repotted her and look how big that foliage is getting now these i can grow outside because i live in florida so you know outside right now is is really good for me to be growing um i can basically grow herbs and lettuce till january february we really don't get a frost till January. So if you need to grow herbs or you want to grow lettuce and stuff like that, guess what you should invest in? T5 Grow Light. I've been using this for years. This is my savior. When my succulents are stretching, I plant so many succulents too, which need supplemental lighting in the wintertime because, you know, they're sun-loving plants. They really need this light. So my lights are by Sunlight Supply, Sun Blaze, 24 and they're a two foot oops they're a two foot ballast and you want to be careful guys you don't break your lights i need to be careful because these fluorescent lights can break really easily and these are um 24 watts and they're high output but they don't they give off a lot of light so a lot of photosynthesis for your plants that your plants need they come with these strings on the sides of them and then i take my little v hook here and I hook them in and you want to keep this you know in a windowsill or something so you get that sunlight from outside but if you're lacking that sunlight in your house having a grow light all year long especially in apartments and stuff like that is really cool to have then you just put an S hook where my finger is a little S hook and then you put it on a chain and you're good to go with your fluorescent lights guys now my fluorescent lights I can keep these they do not burn my plants I can keep these lights they don't put off a lot of heat. You can actually put your whole hand on top of the lights once they're on. It's not good to look at the lights, so if you're using lights, just don't look at the lights. But I want to show you just how they look. That is the bulbs. And there's four bulbs in there, and they come with reflectors on them. And they work really, really well. And they come with little hookups, so you can hook other lights to them as well. I have another pair of these that are actually up in my house, but I have to get through a whole bunch of stuff in my house to get to them so i'm just showing you guys basically how to use it and you can even grow them out you can use this outside too if you have a lanai like me and you're not really getting a lot of sun i get tons of sun in here you can tell you can even put it up in the lanai and hang it up and turn it on during the nighttime if you have to or you know if your plants need a little extra sunlight you can put it up anywhere this light i mean it's great to have on hand for your plants growing in the cold weather when you need to you know supplement that lighting for your plants if they're, they're not getting enough and you can grow all these plants you can keep all these plants your your you can grow radish carrots under that grow light they're just going to need like full sun so full sun under that grow light is 14 hours if i put my succulents under that that's that sun blaze light they get 14 hours of sun and that's considered full sun out here which is like eight hours out here here in florida so eight hours outside is considered 14 to 16 hours with your grow light inside. And that's what you're going to need for carrots. And, you know, if you're growing cucumbers inside, I wouldn't recommend that because cucumbers bring a bunch of diseases. <laughs> Just grow them outside if you can during the season that, you know, they're in. During the summer, there's fall cucumbers. I think they're called straight eights. Don't grow cucumbers inside, guys. I mean, I don't want to tell you what to do, but I know from experience growing stuff like that inside big leafed plants like that it just brings a bunch of pests around and now you're treating all your garden so stuff like this is great to have and keep your light about four inches above the plant so you can put them really close they don't burn I can keep the grow light about this high above my plant so if you're using grow lights now this is for fluorescent lighting 
This is not for an LED light. I do have an LED full spectrum. I'll do a video on all my lights guys set up once I have them set up in the house because I'm getting ready to set them up. They're not all done yet. Once I have my little window set up, I will definitely show you how I set my lights up and how I keep them on, how long, and just what I do inside. Um, once they're up, I want to make sure the electrical is hooked up and everything. But um, you just want to keep them about four to six inches away from your plant, and that's it. These are really good lights to have because they don't put off a lot of heat. They don't have really a high risk of fire at all. Um, these are a lot better than any other light out there that I've ever used. And this with that fluorescent LED light, which is my full spectrum, that's actually a bloom bulbs in it too. It has like red tint to it. It has red and green, which the red's for bloom and the, the green is for growing. So, um, which the sunlight puts off natural colors like that. Green and reds and it's pretty cool to learn all about that. But this Sunblaze is good to have. I don't want to make this video too complicated for you, but um, it's just a two foot Sunblaze T5 high output grow light. And they're all over online. You can buy the tubes. There's fluorescent tubes for them. Um, they, I don't know if the ballasts come with them. Mine I actually got on Craigslist, guys. So if you look on Let Go and Craigslist, you can find these lights for nothing. I got my lights for 50 bucks each, and they're like 100 and something bucks online. So just, you know, invest in some lights if you have to, if you're growing for the winter and you live in really cold climates up north. I hope this helped you for all the northerners up there. I'm a northerner myself, and I miss it. I'm so jealous you guys have snow. We have 90 degrees today. <laughs> Till next time, guys. I hope that helps you in the best way possible. Please remember to like and subscribe or share this video with a friend if you think they need help with anything growing in their yard or Lanai or house. Bye-bye. <laughs>